not getting hype, it's just a workout video, nothing's gonna happen. I ain't getting hype, it's just a workout video, nothing's gonna happen. I'm not getting hype, it's just a workout video, nothing's gonna happen. Man, I wanna say don't get hype, but could you imagine? Don't get mad, uh -huh. it's just what it is. What it is. Yeah, we talking sports, shout out to Graven Vance. Yeah, this feels like a dream. The YouTube team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, we're here to talk about a video or several videos that we saw yesterday via 84-7 Fitness, via Antonio Brown, via Lamar Jackson, via Hollywood Brown, and even via the Baltimore Ravens. So even they got in on the hype that surrounded this workout. And before we get into this video, first and foremost, Shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Appreciate y'all. Thank you all uh, for supporting the channel like you do. Second, don't let anybody kill your vibe or tell you how much you should not be excited for this. Don't let anybody tell you that because there's going to be some people. Why are you getting so excited for a workout video? Why are you getting so hyped for a workout video? Let people enjoy what they enjoy. Just because you don't enjoy it. It doesn't mean that you have to go and kill somebody else's vibe. And that's not just for this. That's just period. Stop being a vibe killer. Anyway, I enjoyed the video a lot. I got hyped from the video a lot. The reason that I loved it so much, even though I don't think anything's going to come from it, except all of them being continuing to be in great shape. But... One of the reasons that I loved it so much and one of the reasons I think it got so many Ravens fans so excited is because they were thinking about the possibilities. Every time we see Lamar Jackson and Hollywood Brown and Antonio Brown, we all start to think about the possibilities, the what ifs, what could be, what could have been, what may happen, what may not happen. We think about all of that. That goes through our mind. And, and we envision Antonio Brown joining this current group of receivers and just really taking them to another level. Of course, the Ravens already added Sammy Watkins. They signed him to a one-year, $6 million deal. Uh, five mil guarantee, so that other mil, he's going to have to hit some incentives. Whatever those incentives may be, we don't know. But Antonio Brown, you would have to think that they could add Antonio Brown for something very, very reasonable. Because you know they don't like to spend much money at the wide receiver position. But Antonio Brown could actually really give you somebody where you could definitely get a lot more bang uh, for your buck. Antonio Brown does not have a long injury history. Uh, Antonio Brown, you know he is going to put in that work. Antonio Brown, you know he is going to bring it. Antonio Brown is somebody that has speed. The route running is A1. A1. Think about this. Antonio Brown. I've already been working out with Hollywood Brown. You already know that. And one, one thing, before, before somebody even says it, even though I know somebody's going to say it, oh, man, Antonio Brown, I could just imagine what type of impact you think you would have on Hollywood Brown, that being his cousin. He's been Hollywood's cousin his entire life. His entire life. And Hollywood is just fine. But anyway, um, with Antonio Brown... They added Antonio. If they added Antonio Brown and they still got Keith Williams. So and T. Martin, too. The things that just those three guys alone could help all current receivers with. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Ooh, man. Ooh, man. And, and of course, Hollywood. I mean, he, he got Antonio Brown whenever because that's that's family, man. So family going to take care of you regardless. Um, but imagine what the just the knowledge that they could implement in those Ravens receivers to just help them be that much better. Because the thing about all the Ravens receivers, well, most of the Ravens receivers, they already got the speed. Most of them, I said. They already got the speed. Speed is there. But now it's about that footwork. That route run because the route running will take your game. You could be as fast as you want to, but if you got route running, oh, oh gosh, you just become filthy, nasty in a good way, in a good way. Still, team, keep it clean. But it just when you watch those videos, man, it just makes you think, what if Lamar Jackson 
He wants some guys that can just straight up ball. And like my guy JT put it, which was just such a great point, and it makes so much sense as to why Lamar Jackson's connection with Hollywood and Mark Andrews is exactly what it is. It cu it's because those boys, they don't just play football. They, they could turn that thing into street ball. So in street ball, whoever the quarterback is, and if, if you're doing permanent quarterback or somebody, y'all flipping sides or whatever, but whoever the quarterback is, he may tell, hey, this is what I want you to run. I want you to run a little post, and you, I want you to run a slant, and then you, I want you to, uh, to stay in the backfield with me just in case. So the quarterback will give out the assignments. He'll give out what he wants his boys to do, or his girls, whoever's playing uh, street football with him. But say, for instance, those, uh, you, you run those routes and nothing happens. Are you going to run those routes and once your route is complete, you're just going to sit there and say, hell, okay. Okay, um, I ran my route. I did everything I'm supposed to do. I'll, ju I'll just sit here and wait, see if anything comes my way. <laughs> oh, he's back there scrambling. Ah, he's running for his life. He'll be fine. I, I ran my route. I did what I was supposed to do. No. You need people that will come back to the ball for you, people that will come and make a play on the ball for you, people that got your back. If something breaks down, they break down. They'd be like, okay, no, that's the play that I was supposed to run, but things breaking down in the backfield. He ain't got no protection. He's scrambling. He needs something to happen quick. All right, let me come back to the ball. You got that in Hollywood. You got that with Mark Andrews. Now, you know what Antonio Brown We've watched him so many times with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we know there will be plenty of times, Ben Roethlisberger, stuff will break down. Stuff will break down and Ben Roethlisberger will be running full motion. He will be going full speed. It, did, it looked just like this. I'm not doing it just in slow motion. This is exactly how Ben Roethlisberger will be running. Full speed. Because things will break down. And then all of a sudden, you see Ben, when he points, oh, you already know. Well, Y'all know that Ben Roethlisberger point. Y'all know. Any Ravens fan, they'll tell you about it. When he points, and then he goes, mm, whoosh, things break down, man. And, and they, they change the play in the play. And they make a different play. They make a good play out of a bad play. Happens all the time. But especially with this Ravens, especially like last year, with the, the situation, with, with, with what the offensive line was, you need guys like that. And not saying that you expect the offensive line to be bad this year, because you don't, and you hope that it's not, especially if they keep Orlando Brown. That would be great. But anyway, you just got to have guys that'll do that. So that's what Ravens receivers need to do more. But if you did have an Antonio Brown again, it's all wishful thinking. If you did, did have an Antonio Brown, you got somebody that got plenty of experience doing just that. Again, Hollywood does it already. Mark Andrews does it already. Sammy Watkins, we're going to see. We're going to see. We are definitely going to see. But, mm, mm, mm. you just imagine. Just imagine what it could be. And just the competition in that receiver room. Because you have the veterans, Sammy Watkins, Antonio Brown. Uh, you have your third-year guys, Hollywood and Miles Boykin. You'd have your second-year guys and Devin DuVernay, James Prochet with an actual real offseason. Then you'd have your reserve guys, too. Deion Kane, Benjamin Victor. Shout out to Florida, man. I'm Florida Ravens. I'll be trying to tell them. I'll be trying to tell them. But you just, that receiver room, it would just breed some really good competition and that competition would bring out the best. Uh, it would have them bring out the best in each other. And that could only benefit the Baltimore Ravens. And when you think about it, it's like, man, why wouldn't you want to add another one? And we know we still got the draft coming up, so we'll see what they do there. But why wouldn't you want to add another one? And somebody special who, is, who has proven to be special time and time again. And then you would add a, another Super Bowl champion. So somebody who's got all the experience in the world, too. We talked about that hat with Sammy Watkins. He's got the Super Bowl experience both on the good and the bad side. Because he's got the good side because he won a Super Bowl with the Chiefs. He's got the bad side because he lost a Super Bowl with the Chiefs. But he knows what it takes for a receiver group to get to the Super Bowl and get to the Super Bowl consistently. Now, we know he didn't miss a lot of time now. 
Da-da-da. But he, he has that mental of, okay, this is what needs to be done. This is what the offense needs to do. And, and then Antonio Brown. He not only has Super Bowl experience and winning a Super Bowl, but he also has the accolade of once being the best receiver in the game too. So he has both the stats, the numbers, so he's used to production. But then now he has that success as well. So, oh boy, he's got quite the career. And you bring that into this, this young, young offense. You incorporate that into this young offense. You add that experience, that knowledge, and that skill. We're just thinking about it, though. So, anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Shout out to South Florida. Shout out to AB. Shout out to Hollywood. Shout out to Lamar. Shout out to all them boys, man. We love y'all. Let's do it. We out.